What is up guys, Evil Duo Storm here today. Today I have a video for you where we're going to be going over the Warlock Soul Badge combinations for the Shadow Build and Ice Build. Um, we're going to go over both of the best badge combinations for your Warlock and then show you which combinations you're going to use when you do your Soul Badge infusion as well. Um, so let's get right into it. So to purchase Soul Badges you can either do it during this event currency thing in the Dragon Express and you can buy them off of the exchange tab right here. Um, but it just shows you the name. So if you wanted to know what the soul badge was or what it said or what it has inside of that chest You're gonna need to head over to uh, Mushin's tower and talk to this dude right here on the map uh, Give him a shout and you'll see he has every single soul badge from every single season that was ever around including the current season Including the 20th floor badges uh, you can go ahead and check out what they do and see their stats and explanations So um, we're gonna start with the shadow build and I'm actually not even gonna use this menu I'm gonna go ahead over to BNS tree uh, BNS tree has all this information you could possibly want on badges and shield and stuff So if you were uh, trying to read through these quickly and didn't want to travel to Mushin's Tower This is a great site to go and I've got the three badges you're going to need uh, pre-picked out here So for the shadow build your first soul badge you're going to want to pick up is the primal force soul badge uh, This soul badge is going to increase your DPS pretty nicely because what it does basically is it gives you uh, your dimensional salvo skill So if we head back over to blade and soul and we pull up the uh, K menu here Go ahead and look at uh, the shadow build, switch over to it, and we get dimensional volley, and then dimensional salvo is available uh, one second after dimensional volley. So if you're new to the shadow build and wondering how it works, basically when you shoot your dimensional volley, you're going to get a second, uh, wait a second, and then a new skill pops up that's called dimensional volley. This dimensional volley spec stacks, stacks spectral orbs, which then you use to cast your dragon helix skill. So basically what the primal force soul badge is going to do is that during siphon, so that's when you use your leech skill, your uh, dimensional salvo skill will always be available uh, when you use Dragon Helix. So every time you use Dragon Helix, you're going to get a dimensional salvo. You'll be able to rotate back and forth and stack up a ton of spectral orbs. Um, so when you go ahead and pick up Hong Moon right mouse button 2 along with this, uh, along with your right mouse button here for the shadow build, where it stacks even more of those um, spectral orbs, you're basically going to be able to uh, cast an infinite amount or, or, or as fast as you can pull the trigger, basically on your Dragon Helixes, so it increases your Dragon Helix cast rate a ton. Um, so the second badge you're going to want to get on the Shadow build, and why am I saying second badge, is because you can actually combine badges to go ahead and create a uh, stronger badge here, and uh, we'll show you that in a second. But the second badge you're going to want to pick up is Transcendence Soul Badge. So what does the Transcendence Soul Badge do? So Transcendence Soul Badge is actually located on a different merchant here in Mushin's Tower. Um, it's located from the merchant Fang Kangcha 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 over here, and if you scroll over to the uh, beads thing, you're going to see Transcendent Soul Badge. So the Transcendent Soul Badge is gotten from farming Mushin's uh, tower, the 20th floor, getting the uh, beads, and this badge extends the duration of Siphon during Leech for 3 seconds. So this is not the priority upgrade, this is one you're going to go ahead and pick up along your way, um, instead of having your Siphoning badge, you know, so you're going to want to keep your uh, si your uh, Dimensional Salvo Valley Badge that I just showed you a second ago, you're going to want to keep that one. Uh, and then eventually work your way to that one. So why are we getting those two badges? Why are we getting those two badges? Well, you know, we're gonna have to pull up the BNS tree link here. So the Primal Force Soul Badge, when combined with the Transcendent Soul Badge for the Shadow Build, gives you this badge called the Legacy Soul Badge. Basically what you need is you need a Divine Greystone. So to get a Divine Greystone, um, the event that's coming up right now, uh, the next event rather, where you're gonna be able to buy these Maple Leaf RNG chests, has a chance, or you can purchase a Divine Greystone that lets you combine two badges. So you can go ahead and just purchase it right off of this for six maple leaves. Um, so what you do is you combine the two badges together and it basically creates the same badge except two badges into one. So you don't have to uh, take up two slots. You basically get two badges for the one slot. Um, this is cool because it gives you three more seconds of the leech in addition to the infinite cast dimension and salvos um, along with your dragon helix. So that is your combination you are going with for the shadow build of the warlock. Now if you are the Ice build of the Warlock, the badge you're going to look for is the Magnum Soul Badge. So the Magnum Soul Badge for Ice Warlock increases Bombardment's uh, Bombardment, reduces the cooldown of Dragon Claw by one second. Why is that cool? Well, your combo on uh, the Ice Warlock is basically a whole bunch of right mouse boss spamming while trying to stack uh, Dragon Calls as fast as possible. So that, that rate, that increased rate there um, from the Magnum Soul Badge is going to go ahead and make it so you can cast a lot more um, Dragon Calls essentially. It'll, it'll increase your DPS overall. Um, so with that same thing as before, you're going to want to also pick up the Transcendence Badge because you can combine those two badges to create the, um, where is it? Colossus Soul Badge. Here it is. 
So the Colossus Soul Badge, same thing as before, is it increases the duration of Leech by 3 seconds, and then uh, you also get the Bombardment Reduction Cooldown of Dragon Call um, to increase your DPS even more. So those are your Soul Badge combinations. Just one more time to go through uh, what you're going to want to be going for, and I apologize for the biddings. Um, for the Shadow Build, you're going to pick up your Primal Force Soul Badge first, and then after you get your Primal Soul Force, your primal force Soul Badge, you're going to want to move into the Transcendent Soul Badge, uh, so you can combine the two, creating a Legacy Soul Badge using a Divine Grace Stone. And for the uh, Frost Build, you're going to want to pick up the Magnum Soul Badge and combine it with a Transcendent Soul Badge to create a Palestis Soul Badge. And that is your uh, Warlock Best Badges, Best Badges in Slot for the Soul Badge position. Um, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it gives you an idea on which badges to go with and which ones uh, are going to make your character play a lot better and feel a lot better playing your Warlock. Um, if you did like the video, make sure to like, and I'm going to be putting these out for every single class in the game. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for those. If this wasn't your class, uh, you know, they'll be coming out. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.